Today we are doing some real life field tests of a handful of different microphones in an outdoor public space. To capture the quality of audio, we are also comparing it to the onboard microphone of the Sony ZV-E10. That is what is recording right now, not necessarily in a treated or closed environment. Unfortunately, I lost the wind muff. My dog ate it. Who did this mess, Koa? Who threw out the garbage? So you may get some of that background feedback going on. Then we're going to compare it to the Rode Wireless Ghost, the DJI. Then we're going to take it a step up and compare it to the Rode VideoMic NTG. You can see I got a nice dead cat on here. This is the audio coming from the Sony ZV-E10. I have the audio levels on 18. I feel like with the environment that I'm in and the background noise level 18 should be okay it's really important to see what the audio quality sounds like when you are out and about where there are other people and seeing how good microphones will pick up your voice and your audio compared to the surrounding background audios around you you can see behind me that there is an ice skating rink back there so the ice skating rink is playing music on the loudspeakers that may be some background noise that comes through and then again in the environment that i'm in there's some seagulls flying around and occasionally we may get some helicopters flying over the waterfront as well but this is the audio coming from the Sony ZV E10 onboard microphone this is the audio coming from the video mic NTG with the wind muff on the wind is blowing right now the level is at level 10 I do have the high pest filter turned on and I have the high quality upgraded dead cat you can get the dead cat for about $40 but when you're out doing recordings like this where there's high wind you absolutely want to spend the extra money the closer you are to a shotgun mic, you're definitely going to get great audio. I am a little bit closer to it, and that's good when you have a shotgun microphone and you can be this close to the camera. You still can get really good audio, and it should be rejecting a lot of the background noise. There is a band playing to the right of me. There is the music that is playing from the ice skating rink behind me. But because I am up and close to the shotgun microphone, we should get really good audio quality. However, if we pivot, 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 oh, don't do that. There are benefits to having a shotgun microphone when you are able to be close to the camera the way I am right now. However, the benefits of having like a lav or a wireless mic attached to the person is when you need to get away from the camera that's when you start to compromise your audio and the further away i get from the camera the worse the audio quality got so if you're in a situation that you can be this close and you want to have good audio quality shotgun mics do really well this is the audio from the Rode Wireless Go 2s. So we can see the comparison from the Sony ZV-E10 versus the Rode Wireless Go's. So what I really like about the Rode Wireless Go's is that obviously if you are up and close and personal and you're using the onboard microphone, that's of course gonna give you really good audio quality. But where this starts to make a difference is as you start to move away from the camera itself, the audio stays the same. And as I start to walk away from the camera, you can see I'm a good amount away from the camera itself but because we are recording the audio directly from the wireless transmitter we're not losing any audio quality so then what that does is that you can get more of your background in the shot itself and you won't lose the audio quality let's see how far that we can go i know that as soon as i turn my back that's going to clip the audio out because you don't want to create interference between the transmitter and the receiver so if i walk backwards like this that should still have decent audio quality but as soon as I turn around and I create a barrier between myself and the microphone that could cause potential dropouts and cutouts so I'm gonna keep walking I feel like this is probably really far not exactly sure but I know that I am super far here so I'm gonna start to walk back towards the camera and now they're playing music to the right of me they're playing music to the left of me so there are all types of sounds background noises that are coming up but because the microphone is on me we should be maintaining decent quality where you can still hear me really well and not have too much of a distraction of background noise so again this is the audio coming from the Rode wireless go to the next 
test that we are going to do is compare it to the DJI wireless microphone. This is the audio from the DJI wireless microphones. I absolutely love being able to have all of the mounts and adapters in one small convenient charging box. So let's take a look at this charging box right here. If we take that out, this is the other transmitter. We put that back in and now it is charging. It comes with the lightning adapter. So you can see that there's terminals right there that slides into the receiver. And now you can plug this into your iPhone. How cool is this? And it's always there. And then this is USB-C. That's the USB-C and you can see the little gold terminals, the contacts there. That's how it sends the information to the receiver. How cool is that? Transmitter, transmitter, receiver, all of your adapters and you close it. And this is the case. The case even tells you the charge. So you can see I got a full charge and this is all that I need to carry. You can charge it via USB-C and this is a nice durable case. This is what the Rode Wireless Go setup looks like. This is the bag that it actually comes with. So this is a hard case that I brought from Amazon. It comes with a little carry strap. This is what it looks like, right? So I got my receiver. I got my two transmitters here. I do like this case, but I had to buy it. And then it comes with like a little net over here. You got like loose, long cables. In order to get the cables and connections to go with my iPhone or other devices, I had to buy an additional piece. I had to buy the AI Micro from Rode. It's USB-C. You can connect some lav mics here, but then this is the piece that it comes with and it comes with three cables that you can either connect to your iPhone, right? So this is the lightning adapter here, this cable, but it's a cable. So it makes it less clean and unorganized. One end is USB-C, the other end is lightning. As you connect this to the Rode Wireless Goes and just connect it to your phone, it's so cumbersome and a pain in the butt. I absolutely love the small little adapters and the case that the DJI comes with. So even if the audio quality is the same, I don't think that the audio quality is worse from the DJI mic to the Rode Wireless Go. In my personal opinion, I think that the audio quality is a little bit better, but from the tests, you can actually make a decision on your own. You're currently listening to the DJI wireless mic, but even if the audio quality, constantly dropping things, even if the audio quality was the same, just for the sheer ease of use and organization, that's actually another thing that I like about the DJI wireless microphones that you can control the gain on both the transmitter so you can make independent adjustments to having on one transmitter one gain on another transmitter another gain having individual adjustments on each of the transmitters as well as having adjustments of the receiver gain so it really gives you a lot of flexibility to dial in the audio to sound extremely good and it's my new favorite i just like i said just even for this the fact that i can hold this it's secure it's steady put this in my pocket and i know that in this one case i have everything i need to get really good audio quality that's it for me there are so many different types of microphones out there on the market whether you choose to use the onboard mic of your camera a shotgun mic wireless mics lav mics the options are absolutely endless but what's really important for you to know and understand is the environment that you're going to be shooting in. If you are shooting in a real world environment like this, where there's lots of wind, there's background music, there's people walking out and about, or you're gonna be walking out and about, knowing all of those things ahead of time and planning which is the right tool for your application will help you be more successful. I hope that you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite audio or what was your favorite mic? Was there something that impressed you when I did the different comparisons. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me comments down below and what's a mic you think I should try out and maybe test out. Maybe give me a super thanks. That would be really appreciative and hit the notification button so you can be notified when I release my next video. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Yeah.